Hey guys, so I had a couple of requests from uh, different viewers of my videos about uh, how do you do the backgrounds and stuff like that. Well, this is, I'm going to show you sort of, uh, here's an easy way to do the background. Um, I use a program that's free off the internet. It's a little funky, but hey, it works. We're going to take a look at it over here. So as you can see, here's my desktop. And uh, what I did was I went into my backyard and this is uh, on my desktop. Here is Benjamin in my backyard and off to the that side. <laughs> of the uh, screen there. Uh, if I look out the, uh, my backyard, I got that nice uh, set of mountains and everything. So what I did is I went back there and I took uh, a series of snapshots basically um, to create a panorama. And uh, here you can see this is kind of from left to right. We're going to go and I move the camera over, move the camera over, move the camera, I kept on moving. And I'm kind of zoomed in a little bit, um, but I kind of move all the way to the end and I think that's the last one right there so how do we get this these mountains here uh, to be a background so we got to stitch them all together so the program and uh, you can find a link in the description for this program it's called uh, Hugen panorama stitcher okay um, I'll give you a link click on it it's free it looks a little weird it's kind of funky to use but it's pretty straightforward if all you're doing is what we're doing which is stitching the pictures together to get a nice big panorama so right up here at the uh, top you can see it says load images right so you just follow these steps one two three and it does everything itself so click on uh click on the the first uh, button there let me kind of move that a little bit right load images go over to where your images are which uh, I have put these images in temp video. So here we go. I'm just going to highlight them all, um, hit open. There you go. It's kind of sticking them out into this little spot, right? Click on number two, align. Now it's going to have this little pop up right here and it's going to start doing all sorts of stuff. I don't know what the heck it's doing. It's going to have errors. It's going to say all sorts of weird stuff. See, um, don't worry about it. But as you can see on our image here, it has now started to kind of stitch it all together, right? Uh, click on number three, get the panorama. Now here, um, I just leave uh, exposure corrected low dynamic range, this first option. I don't change anything. I'm going to export it as a TIFF. Um, we can play around with that later on. Um, the size and the format, it's just what it is, right? Um, and you can kind of see this window right here. This is what is sort of the default right here um, so I'm just gonna select that hit OK the project needs to be saved sure let's go ahead and save it we'll just save it right there we'll hit save and save and here it goes now it's starting to do some other stuff here we'll let it finish doing it actually works pretty quick at least on my computer but I got a pretty decent computer Just a little sip of coffee away, and we're almost done. And then the next thing we're going to do, or you can do once you've gotten your little panorama completed, is do some color correcting and all that kind of stuff, whatever you want to do, right? So here you go. That's it. It's pretty much done. Um, batch process, uh, yep, completed, it says down here at the bottom. All right. I'm going to go ahead and close this out, close that out. And here's our uh, directory where we initially had our pictures And here. If I open it up and kind of zoom in, here's our big panorama here. And I'll uh, kind of zoom it in and I can move it all the way across. And as you can tell, here it is. It's all stitched together nicely. Now what I'm doing next and what that just depends on the the photos that you've taken and stuff like that you can do a little bit more editing here and color correct it and do whatever you want to do you know adjust the colors crop it a little bit like that now i've got a lot of sky in this right here so probably if i zoom out um, i'm going to go ahead and open this with just uh, by going right clicking and i'm going to do open with i think it was photos let me see if that's the correct one yeah there it is so i'm on windows 11 yours may be a little bit different but you know what you can open it in pretty much any kind of paint program that where you can crop it so and this is the way i i just crop mine's really easy right here and i'm grabbing the corner back well let me grab this this corner on the right hand side 
Uh, and I'm just going to crop down all that sky right up to the top of the mountain, right in the center of the screen right there. Because we don't, you may want to have that printed out. It's just your thing. What I'm doing here is I'm cropping out a lot of the stuff at the, uh, at the top and the bottom. I'm just going to leave sort of the horizon line and the mountain. That's all I want right there. Right. And then I'm going to go ahead and save a copy of that. And it's going to save as a TIFF. You can save it as a JPEG, whatever you want to do. I think it's hopefully it's in the background right there. But uh, there you go. I'm just going to save it as a JPEG in not video three. <laughs> I'm going to save it at, uh, let's see, someplace on my desktop. Where's my folder? Temp, temp video right there. All right. And there it is. I've kind of cropped it out and it's almost ready to, well, print out at uh, at Walgreens or wherever you wanna try to go and print this thing out. Uh, the higher the resolution, the better. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's pretty straightforward. And uh, I think it's, this is more really like a commercial for, for that free program, which is easy enough to use. You can see just three clicks of the buttons over there and you have your entire thing printed or at least uh, you know stitched together right so anyway guys i hope that was a little bit informative a little how-to video over here how to get the background pictures and then like i said i'm gonna go ahead and take that upload it into uh walgreens uh, website and then uh you know have them print it out on a banner kind of like a two by eight foot banner or something like that um and you might have to do a little bit of editing there with them or wherever else you're going to have it printed out. Um, but then you can kind of, if you want, you can just cut the mountains out, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, that's how I do it. Anyway, guys, take care.